All right, what we're doing today is uh, showing you how to switch from uh, TIG welding steel to aluminum using the gas tongue turner welding process. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to pure tungsten. We use 2% thorium tungsten typically on uh, steel and stainless. So we're going to go to pure. We're going to move up to eighth of an inch diameter. It needs a heavier diameter of tungsten because you're, you're, you're putting a lot more heat into it. Um, you're going to go to continuous high frequency. When you're doing steel, you're on a high frequency start only. So this is continuous. Uh, to ball your tungsten up, because you're not going to use a point, you're going to ball it up, you need to go to uh, direct current electrode positive. Just feather the uh, pedal and it'll ball up your tungsten. Then you're going to switch back to AC and then you're going to do all your welding on alternating current. Uh, it provides cathodic clean for the aluminum and it's just the way, uh, way it's done. All right, what we're doing is uh, switching up our tungsten, which because we're going to a heavier diameter tungsten, this is 16th of an inch, we got to take all the guts out of the inside of the torch. So that means removing your collet and your collet holder. So there's the collet, this is the collet holder for 16th of an inch. Here's our eighth. Take the eighth, put it in the back there, put your cow holder over it, screw it on there, just snug it, don't crank the ever loving daylights out of it. And then you put your cap back on, and you're ready to do your tungsten. Over here in the machine, what we're going to do, it's on direct current electrode negative right here. Because we're going to ball it up, we're going to crank it over with direct current electrode positive first. This machine automatically knows that we're going to go down to continuous. It was on high frequency start, now we're down to continuous. Uh, we're going to run it, I don't know, around 175. When we get done with the direct current electrode positive volume with the tungsten, I'm going to switch it back up here to AC. We'll leave it down here for now and we'll get our tungsten going. Doing is tungsten's contaminated with uh, with aluminum. You don't have to go over to an actual grinding stone. You can just put it on the corner or something sharp. Give it a little tap. It breaks off, and now we're ready to, to ball it up. And we'll show you how to do that. Tighten the uh, tungsten down. And you just screw the end cap in, and it gets tight. It won't move. You want it sticking out. I don't know, three sixteenths of an inch to a quarter of an inch. We're on electro positive now, so just go up to the table. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just above the table. We're gonna feather the the rheostat of the foot pedal and um, just ball it up here. That's all it takes. All right, there's the tungsten all balled up. It's got a little bit of contamination on it from the aluminum. Now we're going to go over here to the machine, switch to AC. It's just got a sine wave there, that just means AC. And we'll, I don't know, we'll strike an arc and let it beat it real quick. Just a quick lap joint, kind of show you how it how it goes. Have fun, take well in the aluminum. 